Hi guys, Andy here from Hive. Today I'm going to take you through a typical combat session that we would do here at the Hive. You're only going to need dumbbells. To be honest, you can actually get away with using maybe tin cans or, or empty bottles or anything that you can hold on to. Not, something not too heavy. Uh, a skipping rope if you have one. If you don't have one, it doesn't matter. We can do the same exercise without a skipping rope. Everything else we're going to do is body weight. It is a tough class, guys. We are going to be working out for 45 seconds. We're going to have 15 seconds rest. It is high intensity, so uh, you will be working hard. Uh, just give it your all. Do as much as you can uh, and enjoy the workout. Right, guys, first two exercises that we're going to do are burpees and punches, OK? Get yourselves ready. We've got eight seconds. Listen for the bell. And then we're going to get going. Get ready. Two, one, let's go. Twenty seconds left. Time. Good. Fifteen seconds rest. So now get your dumbbells or get your tin cans, bottles, and we're just going to be in a fighting stance. Punches straight out in front of you. Get ready. Let's go. So we'll be super setting these guys. We'll be going straight back into burpees after these 45 seconds. And then once we finish those, back on the punches again. We'll be doing each exercise twice and then we'll change exercises. Ten seconds left. Keep punching them out. Keep punching them out. Time. Lovely. Okay, so back onto burpees. Five seconds rest. Get yourselves ready. Two. One. All right, let's go. Five seconds. Time. Back onto the punches. Again, grab your dumbbells, all your cans of pop, bottles, bricks, kids, pets, whatever you've got. Get ready. Let's go. So with this, just try and move the upper body a little bit as well. So it's not just the arms working. Twenty seconds left. Lovely. Okay, guys. So the next two exercises that we're going to superset between are skipping. If you've got a skipping rope, great. If not, then just do this. Second exercise is going to be reverse lunge into a kick. Okay. Yeah. Get yourselves ready. All right. Let's go.
So if you can't do this, doesn't matter guys, just drop the skipping rope and just bounce, bounce on the spot. Lovely, okay. Supersetting that with a reverse lunge into a kick, okay? Reverse lunge into a kick. Five seconds, get ready. Let's go. Eight seconds, keep going. And time, lovely. Back onto the skipping. Five seconds. Let's go. Ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Keep going. Lovely. And then back into a reverse lunge, into the kick again. That'll finish this set off. Then we have two more exercises to do super set between. So get ready with the reverse lunge into the kick. Let's go. Reverse lunge, kick. Again. Go at your own pace, guys. If I'm going too slow or too quick for you, just go at your own pace. Fifteen seconds left. Five seconds. Lovely. Okay, guys, we're going to do a sit-up movement now, but we're going to throw punches in there as well. So, we're going to sit up. One, two, three, four. Back down. Sit up. One, two, three, four. Okay? We're super set in that with a sprint and a punch at the same time. So I'll show you as we go along. Ready? Let's go. Sit up. Two, four. One, two, three, four. So we're punching about 45 degrees. Above your head. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Lovely, on your feet. So this one, we're gonna run, but we're gonna punch at the same time, okay? Get ready, we've got six seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Now feeling lost without you 
And we've got your own pace, guys. If you can go quicker, fantastic. Ten seconds. I wanna run away, wanna make this Lovely, okay, on the floor. Back into sit-ups and then punching at 45 degrees. Get ready, five seconds. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Twenty seconds. I never use my voice, but I have a choice now. Before I get into quick, but the one who brought down. Back on your feet. Into the last one for this round. Back into sprint and punching, okay? Five seconds. Two, one. All right, let's go. We get a minute rest after this. And then we go back for a second lap. Different exercises, but the same kind of things. Five seconds, guys. Lovely. Okay, minute rest now, guys. One minute rest, and then we go for a second lap. Whew. Feeling good? <laughs> Bit warm, innit? Obviously, if we was in the hive, if we were doing the full hive exercises, we'd be using machines, we'd be using more dumbbells on the punch bags and so on. But this is for you guys at home. So, you know, it's a, it's a workout that is accessible to anybody, anytime. That's the most important thing. You don't need weights, you don't need a skipping rope. You get two, kin, two tins of coke, that's all you need. If you've got a rope for a skipping rope, fantastic. If not, don't worry about it. You can just hop. As long as it's the same movement, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the next uh, superset we're going to do it's going to be squat jumps, so we're here, okay? And then we're working uppercuts with the dumbbells or the tin cans. All right, guys, get yourselves ready. 15 seconds. We'll start with squat jumps first, okay? So land nice and soft, okay? Don't land too hard. Don't want to jolt your knees. So, two, one, let's go. When you land, straight back down into the next one. And don't just lean forward, bend at the knees. Feel the tension coming through the quads. You should feel lactic acid, you should feel the burn as you're doing this exercise. Ten seconds. Lovely. Okay, grab your dumbbells or your ten, ten cans, and up with us. We're just working. It's, it's a roll of the shoulders, okay? Five seconds. Get ready. Two, one, let's go. 
So I'm trying to move my whole body as well, I'm trying to get a slight twist going on. So my core is being worked as well. My arms are getting worked, my biceps are getting worked, my shoulders are being worked. We're not just doing this, I'm moving my whole body. Bigger calorie burn. Eight seconds left, keep it going. Lovely, okay. Back into jump squats. So 10 seconds rest. It's gonna burn, but just push through. You should feel that those legs burning, the building up of lactic acid. Let's go. Keep that back straight all the time, okay? So we're not just leaning forward, we're squatting. Bending at the knees, bending at the hips. And explode up. Doesn't have to be a huge jump. We're just trying to get off the ground slightly. Five seconds. Uppercuts. All right, guys, get yourselves ready. Five seconds. Remember, rotate, move, rotate those shoulders, move the whole body. All right, let's go. seconds. Lovely. All right, this one. We're going to run, but we're going to get the knees up slightly, okay? The other exercise we're going to superset that with is a squat into a knee. Squat into a knee, okay? But run first. Ready? All right, let's go. Remember to drive those arms. Go at your pace. You can go quicker or slower. Doesn't matter. Just keep it going. Seconds left. Okay, squat into a knee, okay? Woo! It's burning. Get ready. So squat, knee, squat, knee. Seconds. This could be something. Lovely, okay. Just keep moving, guys, okay? Keep moving. Get that lactic acid out of your legs. Back onto the run. So get ready, five seconds. Let's go.
Five seconds. Lovely. Okay, back into squats and the knee. Woo! Right in. Get ready. Let's go. Fifteen seconds, guys. Keep it going. Lovely. Okay. On the floor, we're going to work some abs. So we're going to work from here all the way out, all the way back in, and then we're going to work a, a, a boxing, uh, shadow boxing as well. But I'll show you that in just a moment. So here, everything goes out, everything comes back in. Out, in, keep the abs tense the whole way through the movement. But this one is not about speed. It's about feeling the movement, feeling the abs work, especially the low abs. Leg kicks make the leg, the low abs do more work. Low abs are notoriously missed during a workout. Good on your feet. So again, this time, if you have dumbbells, great. If you've got tin cans, great. But all we're doing is just pretending that you're punching somebody, okay? So moving around, any punches you want, okay? Any punches at all. Just keep moving around, use the floor and pretend you're fighting somebody. So the more active you are, the higher the calorie burn. Okay, you don't have to use dumbbells. As long as you can use these. You could do this without dumbbells, but the more intensity you took into your punches, trust me, you will feel it. Back into the leg, kicks. 10 seconds. Two exercises left, guys. This one, that one, and we're done. So let's put the work in now, okay? Get ready. Let's go. So feel the low abs doing the work. Squeeze the abs. Kick out and feel it. Back in. Right, guys, keep going. Here's a tough one. Just push through. <laughs> Lovely. That's one, guys. On your feet. Again with the dumbbells, coke cans, kids, pets, whatever you can find. Doesn't have to do with these. It can be without weights or without anything. We just took a lot of intensity into your punches. The more power, the more calorie burn. And keep moving. And pretend you're fighting somebody. Pretend they're moving around. Twenty seconds. Body and head. See those hands high. Keep 
at a time. Lovely. So that's two rounds, guys. 24 minutes. In the hive, we would be doing another round as well. But that's a fantastic exercise or workout that you can do at your home. As you see, you don't need equipment. You don't need dumbbells. You don't need a skip mode. If you have them, fantastic. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Have a, give it a try. Uh, enjoy it. And uh, let us know how you get on, okay?